So we just completed our wing in the last one, and now we're going to work on this center section. And again, I went through multiple designs on how to do this. And what I'm going to show you is what I think I is the best one. Uh, you can obviously change this uh, to do something a little more standard. I might do another video to show how I did one of the other pieces as well. So I'm going to do uh, create a new part studio down here. I'm going to do a sketch on my top. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the construction line again so I can use that mirror technique. I'm going to grab my line tool and I'm going to do a 0.125 inch line and a line in the same at 0.125. And again, all my measurements I took for this were for the third generation Echo Dot. That's where it'll fit. It should work on generations two and three because they're a little bit smaller. So I'm going to grab my three-point arc as well. I'm going to set my first one at 1.075. I'm going to set my second one at 0.95. And then I'm going to come back up to my dimension button. I'm going to dimension it from the outside to the center of my arc here, two inches. Again, the echo dot, I believe, is uh, 3.7 inches or 3.9 inches. And I'm going to dimension it to my center here. Uh, nope, not there. Escape. I'm going to dimension it to my center point, to that same point, zero. I'm grabbing the wrong thing, so I'm going to just move some of these things out so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to dimension. We'll go from here. We can just do it from there. We can dimension it to zero. So the next thing I'm going to do, uh, and again, that construction line wasn't for the mirror. I misspoke. It was for our revolve function. So I'm going to choose my revolve axis as being the center here. And you can see I'm going to revolve that and get that donut looking shape. I'm going to go in one direction. I'm going to make it 180 degrees. And I'm going to flip it so I have it right side facing up on my plane. So that gives us our base shape for this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a plane. And if we can take a look, I'm going to lay a plane down on my right view. And what I want to do is move that plane out the width of my uh, inside, which is 2 inches, plus my eighth of an inch, which is uh, 2.125, and then another quarter of an inch because that's how far I want that to stick out. So I'm going to move my plane 2.375 inches out. I'm going to press sketch. I'm going to place a sketch on that plane. And then from the right side here, I'm going to draw a circle on that center line. I'm going to make it 0.75 inches. I'm going to dimension that down here, 0.75 inches. And I'm going to extrude. Now, the way I'm going to extrude this is I'm going to change the direction. And I'm going to extrude it up to the face. It's going to ask me which face I want. I'm going to select the face there. So that's how I put it on a curved surface. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place a sketch on the flat portion. I'm going to grab my center point rectangle tool, find the center point of my circle, and do a quarter of an inch by a quarter of an inch. I'm going to extrude that a quarter of an inch as well. So that'll fit nicely into my wing housing. So we can see that there. I'm going to flip around and do the same thing. I'm going to place a plane. I'm going to do it on my right side here. I'm going to offset it again, 2.375. I'm going to flip my direction on it so it's coming out this way. I'm going to place my sketch on that second plane. I'm going to grab that circle, find the center point, 0.75. I'm going to grab my dimension from this top here to here. And again, 0.75. And I'm going to extrude that um, up to my surface. And then I'm going to place a sketch here. And using that same center point square, do that 0.25 by 0.25 and extruding at 0.25. On uh, the next video, we'll talk about the assembly and then some tricks on.